What's up guys? Happy holidays. I'm here for in Las Vegas for the holidays and uh, I wanted to record a quick video for you guys. Uh, still promising this Friday the HA proxy video is going out guys. Uh, it's a very exciting video. Uh, I, I researched for a month. So much good content there so I hope you enjoy it. But meanwhile I wanted to record a video to talk about one topic that I'm deeply uh, passionate about it's called collateral knowledge this little word I've been doing it for the past two years but I never knew it has actual name right so collateral knowledge what it is it's the the boring definition is right and if you google it really for, of all places the best definition is of all places urban dictionary <laughs> nobody actually to explain it in a very straightforward manner and uh, what it means is you have one goal in mind. You want to acquire one piece of knowledge, right? One information. You want to learn that thing, okay? And in the process of trying to learn that thing, you stumble upon other things that you don't know and you end up forcing yourself to learn them, thus acquiring extra knowledge, extra like expanding your field of flux of knowledge, right? Just because you want to acquire that more, all right? So I've been doing this for the past two years because and all my YouTube channel is built on collateral knowledge. I want to build, I want to make a video about proxies and I end up learning, okay, what is a proxy? It's a, it's, it's, it's a proxy. It's essentially, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a server or so it's a software that essentially hides the identity of the destination server, right? And there's something called the reverse proxy and they operate on a different level, layer seven and layer four. It's like, okay, what is a layer four? What is a layer seven? Oh, so this is something I learned in back in, in the college days. Like, oh, there's an OSI model. So I just go deep down. It's like, okay, what, what is actually a layer four proxy? And what is a layer seven proxy? And you start learning more about each of them. And then you learn that there are different load balancing schemes that you can op operate on the layer seven versus layer four, right? So what, what you st start doing, right? You start learning more and I start making more videos of my new acquired knowledge, okay? So that's essentially what collateral knowledge is, right? The other extreme end is you want to make a video about uh, proxies you would uh, or, or for example you want to implement a load balancer right and uh, I've been guilty with this back in the days what I used to do is I would go and search hey how to implement load balancing load balancer and I would see a stack exchange article so it's like hey just copy this uh, um, this configuration install nginx paste and uh, yeah put your servers you're done well that works that might work, right? Obviously, it, it actually works, but if you go back and start tweaking, you don't understand what's going on because you don't understand how the system works, right? You just, essentially what you did is you asked your colleague how things work, right? So instead of doing it yourself and trying to learn and understanding the whole system, you can take shortcuts and they might give you get you somewhere, but you cannot advance in your career if you don't understand how things actually work and i and i really implore all of you guys to to if you want to learn something try to learn everything about it i know it sounds like a, a lot but you'll start reaching a stage in your learning process where you says you'll be satisfied of what you know and uh, here's here's an example right if I started making this database engines video, right? And, and uh, I know a little bit of my data, databases. I, I mean, well, I worked with a lot of databases in my 15 years career, right? So I know a little bit of the databases, but when I start making them about database engines, this is a new term if you think about it, right? Database engines, what is this thing, right? We know that DBMS, what's an engine? What's an embedded database? So I start learning about that and I start learning, there are a lot of database storage engines and the more i learn about them the more i learn there are there are reasons for each of implementations like there is an uh, my isem right and there is an anodb 
all right? My ASM solves the certain problems, and ODB solves interesting other problems, right? And then Google implemented another database engine called LevelDB to solve an interesting other problem, and, and they, all of this implementation comes back, there's always a reason for everything, right? Because of the um, uh, advances of SSD drives, Google implemented level DB because SSDs are not really good on updating existing bits of information. They are great in inserts, they're great in read, but they wear off the more you update stuff. So level DB implemented that stuff, so like an LSM engine, right? So now he starts like, oh, what is an LSM? Uh, log structure, merge tree, and B trees. And then, okay, wow. Am I going that level to B trees? And I, I, I'm, a, I'm a computer science graduate, but I forgot all that stuff, right? Because when they taught us all that stuff, they taught us like theoretical boring stuff. Nobody cares about B trees, right? Now, it's actually more important. So I go back and I learn, okay, I, I, for, for once I'm interested in B trees. And so I started learning about B trees and LSM trees, and then go back into, all the low level, lower level, until I reach the stage where it's like, you know what, I'm satisfied. I want to, I don't want to go deeper than that, right? There is still a lot of algorithms and things to make things better, but you'll reach a stage where you will say, you know, I'm satisfied. Same thing with, with a TLS, how TLS works, right? I talk about the round trips of TLS and Handshake and how to exchange, uh, exchange keys, but I do not talk about the headers. And people give me a lot of grief about this. So like, hey, you didn't talk about the internal headers about it. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't really care how the TLS header looks like, right? I do care that TLS 1.2 does two round trips versus TLS 1.3 does uh, one round trip and uh, has a perfect forward secrecy. I care about that. I don't care how it looks like, right? So collateral knowledge has, it's like a recursive function, right? It always has a base condition where you quit. It was like collateral knowledge have the same thing. You will learn and learn and learn and learn. And you can always go as deep as you want, but there's always one thing that will, it's like, you know, I'm satisfied. I don't want to learn more about that. I rather focus on my area. And you should really have an area of focus, right? It's like, hey, I'm interested in software engineering. Oh, I'm interested in database engineering. Oh, I'm interested in network engineering. Oh, I'm interested in proxies and load balancing. And yeah, pick one, right? And then you go as deep as you want in that knowledge, right? So that's collateral knowledge, all right? Seven minutes, right? <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Happy holidays. I'm gonna see you in the next one, Friday. It's your proxy. Stay tuned. Goodbye.